Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Tell me your name, your age if you're comfortable, uh, what is your art form, and where do you live? My name is Phyllis Ideal. I'm 80 years old. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I'm a painter. Oh, great. Okay, Phyllis, can you tell us a point of inspiration that has greatly influenced your creative life? And this could this does not necessarily have to be in your art form, which is painting. It can be anything. Mm -hmm. It can be a person, it can be a you know, a book, anything. So what would you say? Well, I was basically raised by my grandmother, and she was a gardener in the morning and a painter in the afternoon, and I was about five years old and trailing after her. And she would set up little pallets for me with tiny little still lives, and she really taught me how to paint. And so at a very early age, she didn't talk baby talk to me, and at a very early age, um, I, I would try to say a lizard and crimson, and I'd say lizard red. And she would say, no, it's a lizard and crimson. And she uh, also read stories to me, and she really just activated my imagination, and I learned uh, kind of about, about using art to make transformation. It's a transformative kind of activity. It's incredible that you had that, that uh, influence at such a young age. I did. I did. Do you think that's why you became an artist? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I've gone down different, di different paths, mm -hmm. so at one point I got a master's in psychology because I thought I needed something to fall back on, and my mother was always saying, take a, take a secretarial class, and I typed about 40 mistakes a minute, and I didn't want to do it, so I thought I'd do something else, and I had a teaching certificate, and so I went down that path for a while, and then that was about getting the master's was in New York, and then I worked in California and taught educably retarded kids, and then I went back, I, I got a studio, and just started working. Mm. Did you paint all through that time that you were? No. Um, uh uh. Right. No. But it pulled you back, which is wonderful. Okay, um, now I want to ask you when you're in the act of painting, mm -hmm. uh, in the process of creating the work, and things are going very well, you know, the plates are spinning, you feel connected and engaged. Are you aware of a body sensation at times of, just I'll leave it at that, some kind of body sensation that indicates the depth of your uh, engagement, so to speak? No, I am not. And, uh, oh, let's see. I'm not really involved with, I'm not aware of the engagement. I don't know what time it is, so I suppose that's engagement. I would say. Yeah. And um, I sometimes um, have rock and roll on and I'll dance around. And But I don't know if that really affects my painting <laughs> particularly. I mean, I'm a very experimental in the studio, mm -hmm. and things don't just come together, they're crafted together. I use a lot of collage, so mm -hmm. I might do a very uh, gestural piece and then use a geometric piece and combine the two. Mm -hmm. And I don't notice body, surf, you know, particularly sensation. Mm -hmm. I don't really believe in the aha moment because I work four hours every day. Right, right. So the well, process just keeps on going. Yeah, which is good. And I would, I would think, though, that being unaware of the time and the passage of time um, is lost yeah. is kind of what is another way of saying, you know, that there is, um, that you're fully engaged. I'm very engaged, yeah. 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 Oh, that's great. And I'm kind of thinking to myself, now do this, now do that, try mm -hmm. this, try that. You know, but it's not, um, 
It's not a release, mm -hmm. it's a focus, mm -hmm. and it's work. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. <clears throat> okay, so the third question brings us to uh, global and universal implications of the arts. Mm -hmm. um, needless to say, everyone believes that the arts is an essential aspect of being human. It really does express, it's an, it, all the arts are expressions of the human condition. Definitely. And if we don't see that reflected, you know, we're in bad shape. So in your opinion, say in your words, why is it essential for the world, for humanity, for your artwork to be out there, to, to exist, for pa pa painters to paint? What is your feeling? Well, it, I'm part of the creative process, and I mean, the first line in the Bible was, let there be light. And I think of um, art is, as you said, very essential. I mean, what would we do if we didn't have writing and art and dance and music? What, what would we have? And do we know of a culture? I don't know of a culture that doesn't have art, to tell you the truth. Maybe I can think of some very bad cultures, but that haven't recognized art. But um, I'm, I'm, I don't know how important it is. The act of my doing the art is very important. Mm -hmm. And if it's recognized, that's really good. I'm happy about it. But it's not exactly what the game's about for me. Mm -hmm. I will keep doing it, and along the way, it's re been recognized, and I've had lots of shows and lots of galleries, but that isn't what I think about. I simply think about where one painting takes me to the next painting, and it tends to open up a whole bevy of ideas and thoughts and I'll combine this and um, just like the history of art moves along that my history has moved along mm -hmm. so that's really where I put my emphasis mm -hmm. you've been living out your own creative imperative I and I would posit that the world is a better place for it because each individual adds to the pond of all of that, I think, and, yeah. and you know, um, as you say, it's impossible to imagine the world without physical representation in right. paintings or in sculpture or whatever. Impossible. And I am, I, I mean, the world is a big place. There's many thousands of worlds. Mm -hmm. And I am very involved in the art world. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I'm involved with my friends, I'm involved with other artists, I'm involved in studio visits and discussion and the language that we understand among ourselves mm -hmm. to help us promote this process. Mm -hmm. And um, am I making it a better place? Well, I'm on the board of the Roswell Artist in Residence program and I think that's a good, good thing because it's a very, um, supportive thing for artists mm -hmm. Great. and I've been an American abstract artist which is the ongoing process all the way back to the original abstract artists in the United States right so you're you're an ongoing living link yeah to that that's true which I think is is important yeah. um, that's wonderful Phyllis I think that's all I have to ask you, and um, I want to thank you for sharing your creative imperative with us. Oh, thank you for asking me to do it. My pleasure. Yeah.